Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, Altia chopped to death by Jamaican lover and two illegal firearms seized in Norwood. A Jamaican man is now in jail in Antigua after the body of 54-year-old government employee Altia Henry was discovered at her house with machete wounds. The man, according to the media reports, turned himself into the police. He had been previously charged with attempt murder of the same woman in 2017. According to the media reports, he was reportedly charged after Henry was found in a bloody and bruised state, lying on a piece of cardboard in a bushy area with a large blood shattered rock next to her head. She survived the 2017 attack, but based on reports, she has no allegedly fallen victim to the same man. Prime Minister of Antigua, Gaston Bowen, in a statement on Monday, confirmed Henry was an employee of the Passport Division, which falls within his portfolio. The Passport Division will not undertake any service to public today, Monday, June 21 and possible tomorrow, Tuesday, June 22, 2021, the statement said. Media reports has initially indicated that Henry's 21-year-old son had died as a result of injuries he sustained during the attack on his mother. However, Monday's statement from the Prime Minister stated that he is out of surgery and is alive. While the statement gave no direct indication of who committed the crime, the Prime Minister said the suspected murderer turned himself into the police after running away. He had also expressed his deepest sympathy of the government and the people of Antigua and Barbuda to the family and co-workers of Henry. The members of staff are truly shocked and traumatized by the news. Viewers and subscribers, unless it's a Jamaicans and make headline right round the world in the worst ways. Now this have me a think if the lady did stay with him after the first attempt or she did leave him and him still go after her. Because if she did leave and him still try off her, him determined bad. Because after you do the lady that, you get charged, you run your time and you come out, you still go after her again. That would assure clearly same obsessed with the lady. While on the other hand, you have some females who love give people more than one chance, especially them man. Them always say, things do happen, so we are going to look past that and move on. And right there, sir, how them always go wrong. Never you stick around with a person in a relationship after they mistreated them type of way, yeah, because best believe me, it no matter how much them tell you sorry and them never mean it, it are going to happen again. Them aga always have the power they over you because them aga say, Ma do her that the first time and things happen and she still forgive me. So why not do it again? Ma still aga get away with it. That is the mentality them type of people they have. Never you believe people will change because them apologize or because you stick around them after them do whatever them do. People not change unless them want change. And people may not know about Uno, but may know about me. Me strongly believe say the Jamaican man they make it something. Some of them, not all of them. But convince say something I play with some of them mind because this can't be real. Every single day what God send, we have another case like this. It even reached the extent where the lady son had to get involved because be honest, nobody not gonna stand up and say their mother get treated certain way. And them just mind them business and not try to defend it. That is very impossible. Nobody now stand up for see nobody or do them mother certain things and make it slide. So of course him get involved because him a try help him mother. Him a try ensure say him mother safe again. Ladies, a time for no love on yourself first. Stop put the man them in front of you. Ensure say you good before you think about somebody else's feelings because once you put them in front of you worse when them stay like this i lose you i lose when i tell you a lie so a full time now for no what money i and say because if you have a case like this every day just imagine the amount of case was sweep underneath the carpet where the woman them are cover up Mm -hmm. 
Viewers and subscribers, that accident took place in Mount Charles Lawrence Tavern area yesterday. Further reports suggested that one person was injured. Another video of the incident is available, so if you're interested for see it, just follow the normal procedure. Go down in the description of this video where you'll see a link to the Chop City Telegram group. Click on the link and you automatically join the group. If you don't know how to go down in the description, all you have to do is run on over to my Instagram page at Chop City TV. That is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Ensure so you follow the page. Send me a message asking for the link, and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. One of the operations, in one of the operations, they have seized two illegal firearms and some 18 rounds of ammunition. They have taken some persons in custody, not connected with the firearm, but in another operations. And of those persons, at least two were persons who were on the list of persons that they have, that they needed to speak to about crimes that were committed in the, um, in the Norwood area. What we notice coming in is that you're getting the feeling from the persons that they are very relieved to see the security forces on the ground and their only concern is whether or not we're going to stay. Reducing criminal activities and the implementation of social interventions in the area are the main objectives of the security measure as it relates to the operational logistics. The Norwood pub uh, spread up within the Zosa actually stands as the launching point for us right now but as we continue to build out this area we will have a proper processing center that will have the full services to house both the JDF and the JCF and ensure that we have a working structure to maintain this Zosa. We just want to assure the citizens that the security forces are here and we will remain here until we're satisfied that order, law and order is restored to the community. I'm pleased to see the level of work that has been that was done in the area we can we see the tangible um, ach achievements we see the road infrastructure we see the breaking down of some of the the zinc fences we 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 get to speak to some of the persons who were beneficiaries of the different programs that they have and whereas there are things that are still work in progress but i believe that the zone itself has impacted the community to the extent that they no longer know what it feels like to have violent crime in their in the in their community recently they had some situations which they are very concerned about because to them they don't want their community to go back to what it was and we just want to reassure them that we will not allow that to happen